hey welcome to my channel and welcome to this video all around the stationery that I use that helps me with adulting. I share my journal, my planner, other stationery that I use in my weekly vlogs but in this video I'm going into a lot more depth of how I use them and I really hope that those tips then help you maybe apply some of these things in your everyday life to also help you with adulting. Like we're here to help each other. So I'm gonna dive straight in with the first that is at the top of my pile, and that is my journal. Now, journaling. I have so many people that ask me that they about journaling, how to start it, what to do. And sometimes people have such a fear around getting it wrong and there is no right and there is no wrong and it's just about kind of finding your own flow with it and how can then that ritual of journaling help you and so I this is my journal and this journal lives by my bedside and I love to journal in the morning However, I will also journey, journal sometimes in the evening and also just maybe whenever I feel called to. Maybe there's something that I want to release and let go of. So that could be at any time. So I like to do mine in the morning as a way to kind of set the tone for the day. Maybe use it as a way sometimes to really check in with how I want to show up in the day. Maybe I wake up and I'm feeling some anxiety and I'll write and journal about that. So if anything, journaling is like getting out of your head and writing those things down and getting it onto paper and just trusting that that is a really healing exercise in itself. It's very cathartic, it's very releasing. And the, the more that we do it, we start to then recognize how much it can help us as well. So when it comes to, to journaling, you can write in words, you could write sentences, you can write paragraphs, you can write pages. And in fact, this morning, I wrote a paragraph. Yesterday, I wrote one, two, two and a half pages. And that's because I don't put the pressure on myself. I'm not saying like, oh, I have to write, you know, at least one page in my journal every single day. I'm like, I just journal every day. So just take that pressure and have more flexibility around it. Now, you can draw pictures if you find that that helps. I just personally find it healing just to write. And it is simply just what comes out of my head and onto paper. I have tried using like a five minute journal before. And yes, I thought it was like a beautiful exercise to do. However, it didn't give me the depth maybe that I wanted. And with depth then comes like a release. It's like a way to, to process. And I love how it's about then approaching your day with gratitude. And then you come back to it at the end of the day and again, approach your evening then with, with gratitude as you reflect. But I think that we can connect with gratitude even when we are just like more through writing in our journal as well. And um, I just found as well that because, because it was all set out on a page, it was quite rigid then that you only have like a certain amount of space to write. And whilst I think that that is a beautiful thing to do, and I think it absolutely has its place, for me personally, I just really like to have my journal where I can just have unlimited space to write as much as I need to. So yeah, if, if you haven't ever journaled before, if you're feeling curious, or maybe you wanted to change the way that you journal, then just give it a try. On a Sunday, I like to spend that little bit more time journaling, and that's more of the practice of Svadhyaya in yoga, which is self-study and self-reflection. So that's when I reflect on the week, I reflect on the intentions and goals that I set myself for that week, linked to the month, linked to the year, and just get honest, get real. And I'm like, where have I maybe made some mistakes? Where do I need to take responsibility? And then that informs the action that I want to take. And of course, within that, there is also that, you know, tapping into like an inner cheerleader as well and just giving myself a little clap where it's necessary. Um, so 
that is journaling. Second one is another journal, but this journal is full of quotes. I love a quote. I love words. I get so moved by them. I it's something that I've have done for a long time. When I was um, when I was a little girl as well, I had a book where I also wrote quotes in. A lot of them were from Roald Dahl, which are still very inspiring today. I love his words. Now, so I literally, if I then find any words that inspire me, I then kind of just keep them all together in one place. Now, before I would do things like I would screenshot something if I'd seen it on um, on Pinterest or something, or even have like a Pinterest board. I would even say like if I read something in a book, I'd then take a photo of that. And it just meant that everything was just all over the place. And then I wasn't actually ever coming back to these inspiring words. So I just keep them all in one place. And again, it's just like, I look at this and it brings me such joy. And I can just start to sometimes then flick through. If there's some words that really helped me through maybe a challenge in time or through a trigger in time, then I remind myself that there are some words in here that are going to help me journey through. And even when I'm just kind of like reading through to maybe find those words that I'm trying to remember, I am just exposing myself to such a lot of high vibrations and all about the high vibes. And so that's just a really nice way to add some inspiration, growth, into into your life and reflection as well so that's the other journal that i use my planner this is i can't even i don't even know how i've been using this for a while now i think this might be my third or fourth one maybe my fourth one it's from the inspired stories and i just absolutely love the layout i love the setup and i use this every single day so this is kind of like more of the taking responsibility, taking action and making things happen because I'm looking at it every single day. It acts as that reminder. It helps me to be organized. It helps me to put my intentions and visions into action with actionable steps. So at the start of every week, you can put like the week's intention. So what you're wanting to welcome in, top priorities. I love it how it has work to do's and personal to do's because I really need that help with that separation because like what I do is such a huge part of who I am and how I live my life. And I need to make sure I have those boundaries around those things. So work to do's and personal to do's. And then my favorite bit is the habit and exercise tracking bit at the bottom. And that is where I will put things like my morning routine rituals in. And then it's like Monday to Sunday, it's got that little tick box option as well. So again, at the start of the week, you can be like, I want to meditate three times a week. And so you put meditation and so you then tick. And every time you tick, you get a dopamine hormone um, releasing into the body, that happy, do it again. And it just helps you stay accountable. It starts to make those visions become a reality. This is like the doing side of manifestation. And then on the next page is then the the weekly layout of Monday through to Sunday. I personally love this one the most because it's got the, the times in. And this helps you to get really clear on what actual time that you do have available. Because sometimes we can think, oh yeah, on Tuesday, I've got lots of time. And then when it comes to Tuesday, you're like, I didn't have as much time as I thought. Whereas when you actually put things in for time specific, or you know, even if it's just with that bit of flexibility and loosely, you start to think, actually, I'm not available. I haven't got any free time then really helps me to then live a slower paced life. I am really trying to move away from that whole, you know, burnout being a vibe because it is not. And I want to welcome in more slowness, more stillness, more of that being feminine energy into my life. And so I kind of think, right, oh, I've got a nice bit of time then to just give myself that freedom and flexibility to do whatever I'm feeling in that moment. It's not about just then sitting and doing nothing, but I really, I I love free time. Like it's, I feel very creative when I haven't got like a time limit on something. And 
also we spend such a lot of time being in our yang, our doing energy, and it's important to welcome in that being. And if anything, sometimes we need to schedule that in more. And so having it set out with with the times hugely, hugely helps me. And so that's how I use that. What I do as well is so at the start of every month, you of every month in it, it's actually got the the whole like the, the calendar, the months set out. So on a Sunday, what I will do is look at here and then see what I've got on for that week and then go to the weekly layout and actually then write things in. And that just, I do that on a Sunday. It just really helps me to set the tone for the week. I enter the week feeling calm, grounded, organized and ready to go. Any reflections that I've made on the week that's gone by, so maybe I didn't quite do something I set out to do, then I make sure that I make it a priority that coming week and even schedule those things in to hold myself accountable. Now at the start of every week as well, and I did used to fill this in before, just lately I haven't, and it's the, it actually gives you an option to do a weekly reflection and it has like happy moments, gratitude, challenging moments and, and what I learned. And the reason why I don't fill it in there is because I've already done it in here. And again, I like how I've got them that bit more space just to, to free write. But I have used that before and that's really helpful to help you practice for the Aya of this reflection, of this self-study on what went right and what didn't. And just being truthful with yourself and being self-forgiving and, and compassionate as well. I also use this to write in my goals for the year. Now, last year, I still use this to also write my goals in and I created a vision board on Canva actually. So I created a digital vision board. And whilst I love that and see really see the value in it, this year I just thought I'd do things a little bit differently. And I have actually created a different kind of vision board rather than doing cutouts of magazines or anything like that I've actually got a little printer and you can just send images to it and it prints them out and I just had such fun doing it I've had this little printer for years and never used it and that's just helped me to create my vision board I then have them written down and then what I also do is at the start of the month Again, I love to do like a ritual at the start of the month. I've then taken the images that represent my intentions for the year and just created like smaller ones and also put them in at the start of the year. So I'm seeing that visual, I'm seeing that reminder. Often we will, you know, we can create these vision boards, we can set these intentions and we do a really big ritual out of it and then we never look at it again. Maybe never, or maybe in a year's time, we need to keep exposing ourselves to it so that we make that then a reality. So that is how I use my planner, how I use it yearly, monthly, how I use it daily. And then lastly, probably the least exciting of all, it is just a very simple, basic notebook. This is where I will write like my daily to-do list. So things that kind of, you know, work, work to do is things I just need to get through and I will just then write on here. I love it as well. It's like a little bit of a brain dump and can just write all those things down, cross it off, tear it off when I'm finished and then I've let it go. I've done those things. And that just really helps me to stay focused on task throughout the day and really concentrate on one thing rather than sometimes in our head would we spend a lot of our mental energy trying to remember the things that we need to do, whereas writing it down really helps. And yes, whilst you can, you know, use the planner and things, I just feel like I've got a little bit more space on that. And I am a very tidy, I'm very, you know, I'm very neat as well with things. And these things are precious to me. They, you know, I keep them sacred. Like I like to really look after them and take care of them and like a lot of scribbles in them. Now, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be really neat. I'm not saying that, but this is just an expression of who I am. And so I like to keep those things nice and neat. And then this is a little bit more of a, a scribbly vibe. Okay, if you know, you know. But please don't ever think that 
you know, please don't ever think that your journals or planners or anything need to be pristine and allow your own personality to be reflected by them. I think sometimes we don't start something because we don't want to make a mess of it or, you know, want to get it right. But the only right way is your way. So just connect with that. So I hope that helps those things that I've shared with you. Connect with what works right for you. Maybe like play around with some of these things. I'd also love to know if there's any other bits of stationery that that you love to use, or maybe you use these things in in a different way. Like pop them in the comments. Let's let's help each other out here as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And I look forward to hanging out with you on another vlog. Or if there's any other kind of videos that you want around these things, let me know. I I love. I love, love, love to, to create these kind of videos and, and share these. Like, I'm very passionate about it. But yeah, I shall see you soon in another video.